Are y'all familiar with Kevin Porter Jr.? He is a former Houston Rocket. And he had a domestic dispute with his girlfriend. And it was reported that he was arrested. <coughs> excuse me. For putting his hands on his girlfriend. Right? And he was fired. Let's get to this. Yep. Ex-girlfriend says, former Houston Rocket guard Kevin Porter didn't hit me. Okay. Now, here we go, women. Now that we're talking about relationships and talking about things like that, let's get to the initial report. That was reported yesterday. The initial report was that the police was called. He jumped on his girl. She was crying. She was bloody. He beat on her. She called the police, and he was arrested. This happened maybe three weeks ago or something like that and that messed up his career yes that ended his career the Rockets cut him and then the Rockets couldn't just cut him so they traded him to the Thunder and the Thunder cut him he, he was terminated immediately upon trade so they traded him and then OKC cut him right and now that he got cut and now that his career has been taken away from him he's basically out of the NBA now for what he did. The girl is retracting what happened. This is what I'm telling you. The girl is retracting what happened. Right? The girl is trying to save face for the man at this point. And okay, so so what you saying, CEO? She was wrong for reporting it. She was wrong for telling what went on. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to speak now is to young men, right? Young men and older men, but men that really have something that they have attained. This brother has worked his whole goddamn life to be a player in the NBA. Playing in the NBA has been afforded him to change his life and the people around him life. And you lose all that because you can't keep your hands to yourself when dealing with a woman. This, this is what I'm saying. You lose everything that you work for because you can't keep your hands to yourself. You can't keep your emotions in check when dealing with a woman. You know what I'm saying? Not just any woman, a woman you have invited into your life, right? That is quote unquote your girlfriend. You beat this bitch up and lose everything you got. You weak as a motherfucker, man. And here she is trying to be the strong person again and say the shit didn't happen. Listen, young people, man, keep your hands to yourself, man. Keep your goddamn hands to yourself, man. Why is you beating her up? She can't beat you up. So what you did was by beating her up, you beat your career up. And you kicked your career in the ass, young man. You kicked your career in the ass. Your career is over. Nigga, we just talked about it at the beginning of this show, being an NBA player and, being a, and playing basketball. You back to just playing basketball, nigga. They may let you back in now that you and your publishers done ran this scam of getting her to denounce the incident, right? Maybe you have now learned your lesson, right? I don't know, but I, I, I'm not going to say I hope it works out for you. I'm not going to say it. I, I hope it don't work out for you. I don't know. I'm just sitting here learning, right? I'm using the wisdom of the, I'm using my wisdom to apply to this situation, man. Keep your hands to yourself, man, because the same person you beating on is the same person that got to help you now. The same person you beating on is the same person that got to help you now. And women, I'm going to say this for women. That I, and, and I can say this because she didn't retract her statement, right? This is what I'm going to say to women. We don't have to go through all that retracting your statement and, 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 and falsifying the truth and all that shit. Listen to what I'm telling you. If that nigga beat on you, right, and you was going to take this nigga back, you shouldn't have called the police. You need to just get away from the situation. If you love that nigga that much, right, to where you just want him to stop beating on you, leave, man. Leave this shit. Because now you done put this nigga in a deeper form of depression. And that nigga gonna kill you. Nigga, when he broke and you done fucked out what he got going on, that nigga gonna kill your motherfucking ass, man. Listen, just leave. Avoid calling the police if you can, right? Or seek help if you can. But leave the situation. 
because all that shit is bullshit. Now you lying. Now you fucking lying because you won't leave. Because now you lying because you don't want to leave. You want to be with the nigga and you want him to be right. You in love. Man, that love shit is over with. This shit is toxicity, man. This shit is toxicity. You should have took your ass whooping, packed your bags, and left. Now, if you wanted to end his career, that's fine. You should have took your ass whooping, packed your bags, and called the police and ended his career. But now, don't come back and try to fix this shit after you done initiated this shit going this far. Stop it, my nigga. This shit is horrible. This shit is trash, man. Hopefully, I, you know, gave a little advice on it, man, and gave a little explanation on it on the men's side and the women's side. You know, I'm not saying I'm helping nobody or nothing like that. I'm just saying, man, that's my take on it, man. Homie, fuck this career off because he don't know how to keep his hands to himself when it comes to the person he has invited in his life for love, right? And the woman has helped this nigga fuck this shit off by not accepting who this nigga was. This nigga showed you who he was. This nigga is an emotional bitch nigga that hit women. And you should have took your ass whooping and left. You should have went to the other side of the world away from this bullshit ass nigga. Or you should have called the police on the nigga and then went to the other side of the world. But your, your stupid ass shouldn't be coming back trying to retract your statement because you feel guilty for the results of his actions. Yeah, and that's just what that is, man. Facts, man. That's just what that is. So for those that aren't in this situation, men or women, when the person you're dealing with show you who, you, who they are, believe them, man. Believe them. And, and, and keep that shit moving, man. The sister, the one that called the laws, not the girl. I mean, either way, you you have invited that you jumping on people in front of people, nigga. They calling the police. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. But she is a famous ball ball. Oh, she in the WNBA. Yeah, man. They they need to stop all that. They need to, they need to break that shit up. She probably didn't have anywhere to go. No, we know she has somewhere to go. What if he didn't hit her? You know, CEO, all they do is say that anyway. Now, that's even worse. Now, imagine if he didn't hit her and she didn't, he didn't invite a bitch in his life who would lie on him to end his career. That nigga still stupid, man. Either way, man, you cannot get around that shit, man. That nigga is dumb as a motherfucker, man. But I could go on and on, but I ain't going to do it, man. We about to come to the close, but, you know, we got to get to these here, man. We got to tell the people what it is. It's toy drive time, man. And we got to give Ah, man. The ninth annual toy drive right here. Galveston, our first stop. As you see, all the kids, man, nine years in a row, we've been putting it down right here. G County Hope Foundation. It's your boy, CEO Hockley, doing what we do best, man. Representing, holding it down, putting it down. Every time, man. It's what we do.